to old friends. Article A Consensus for the Rest of Us by Leah Terrazas, political correspondent at the City Herald. Chibuike Atenio, Perica Kosar, Argus McCowan. If there is anything the current state of consensus hopefuls have in common, is that they offer a very different kind of representation for the mortal population of the last city. Raucous political gatherings have become a staple of the city's nightlife in recent months, with potential candidates vying for the chance to make their case for candidacy in the city's parks and public squares. Chief among their demands is the urgent restoration of fair representation to the city's government. Notably absent are the old trappings of long-established faction loyalties. This move away from guardian-driven factions speaks to a more mortal-centric framing, claims Dina Palamo, one of several enthusiastic volunteers campaigning on behalf of McCowan. We know the vanguard can handle the long view, but we need the short-term perspective as well as the immortal one. Warlock vanguard Ikora Ray has repeatedly pledged to restore the consensus, promising to hold civilian elections once the immediate threat is over. Not everyone is content to wait. How many citizens were exiled from the city because they got on Executor Hideo's bad side? asked one local. I mean, how many guardians got the boot because they wanted guardians ruling the city? Isn't that what we have now? If things are so desperate, why don't we invite some of our people back home? Others call the excitement over elections premature. If we lose the war, I'm pretty sure none of us are going to be alive to do any voting. It is difficult to argue the point that election turnout might be poor under the current circumstances. But if the lightless members of our community are to have a voice in the future, it's clear that there are those ready and eager to speak.